is Elden Ring Game of the Year? The Game Awards is in about four or five days, so we're soon gonna know who actually wins. But before it does, I wanted to make this video because I think this year is really close between two games. And those games are obviously being Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Whew, this is a good matchup. Whatever they choose to be Game of Year, I don't think will be wrong. But me personally, and I mean me personally by a lot. I think Elden Ring wins by a landslide. Don't get me wrong, God of War Ragnarok's all cool. Fun ass game, really crazy graphics and stuff, but still. But I can't confidently say that it is a better game overall than Elden Ring. Now, when it comes to determining the game of year, 90% of the decision comes from the game of the year people just choosing what game it is, and 10% is vote. So realistically, the game of the year people just decide. And since they don't give us criteria, which is weird, I wish we saw, you know, how they made the decision, I'm gonna make my own criteria. I think what wins game of year can be defined by three things. Number one is virality. How popular was the game when it initially came out? How much did it take over the gaming community? How long was it relevant from the time it came out to the end of that year? Number two is creativity and design. This category falls into things like music, the scenery, the graphics. Was this game immersive? Was it beautiful? Was it captivating? Was it something to remember? And three is pure gameplay. Is the gameplay loop fun? Is it addicting? Is it fun to explore? Is it fun to progress? Does it feel like you're wasting your hours when you're playing the game? These three things together, I feel like determine game of the year. So let's talk about it in Elden Ring's perspective. Number one, the virality of Elden Ring. Elden Ring came out at the beginning of 2022 after a delay. Play. Elden Ring had been hyped up for three years before that and people were salivating to get their hands on it. When Elden Ring came out, it amassed 950,000 players on Steam. Almost a million people were concurrently playing Elden Ring on Steam alone when that shit dropped. Those are record-breaking numbers for a predominantly single-player game. That shows that the game truly lived up to the hype that it deserved. Mostly positive reviews on Steam. For the next three, four months, if you were on TikTok, if you were on YouTube, if you were on Twitter, anything. You saw people posting secrets that they found. You saw people posting boss fights. Bosses like Millennia and, you know, Morgoth, the first boss, transcended the game itself and just kind of became a meme. We saw the game truly reach every corner of the gaming community. So I think for virality, Elden Ring is undoubtedly the most popular game this year. Number two is creative design and gameplay. I shouldn't really have to talk fucking long for, for this category at all. I can just show you guys like four screenshots. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Elden Ring was an open world game, which absolutely changed everything about a Dark Souls style game. There was no feeling at the beginning of Elden Ring, like opening your map and having that entire massive area to explore, top tier exploration ahead of you. And I don't think I've gotten that feeling from a game ever. It wasn't linear progression. I mean, I could go south, I could go east, I could go west, I could do what I wanted to do. And all of it was interesting. No matter where I went, different enemies, different castles, different weather. I really don't understand how they could have made such an amazing game. Number three is the gameplay loop. Th this is where you could see potentially God of War, you know, beating Elden Ring. Elden Ring has the classic Dark Souls combat system. Really what it comes down to is hitting, dodging, hitting, dodging, hitting, dodging. I mean, that's really the whole thing. There's combos and there's weapon arts, but those are still kind of uh, static throughout the game. You can get bored of them and generally you want to swap weapon arts just because you've been using one for too long. The magic helped Elden Ring a lot. I played as a mage my first playthrough and I think that that made the game way more fun seeing all these unique spells and how many there were and the different types of magic that you could learn. There are so many ways to play Elden Ring. But regardless of how you play, sometimes you can argue that the combat is a little bit stale. What really gives Elden Ring its gameplay loop is the different areas and the different mobs that you fight. You're fighting so many different types of people with so many different types of abilities that it makes it feel like you're fighting differently because people keep coming at you with new shit every every zone you enter. When it comes to this category though, I do feel like God of War beats Elden Ring. In God of War Ragnarok, you technically have four different weapons with four different skill trees. That's not to mention Atreus's bow, that's not to mention Freya. You can play as so many different characters throughout the actual game and they have their own abilities and you can use them sometimes while you're playing Kratos, allowing for literally 30 plus combos you can actively use while playing just Kratos alone. This makes it so you can always combo in different ways, you can always use different weapons, and the upgrade system is arguably just as good as Elden Ring's. The conclusion to why Elden Ring should win is because it is one of the most expansive games ever. God of War Ragnarok is an amazing fucking video game with a fantastic story, and it perfectly continues the first God of War game. However, that's just the thing. 
it's a continuation. The graphics are better, there's new weapons, and a new story. But that's really it. Does that mean it's a bad game in any way? Of course not. However, Elden Ring is a revolutionary game. The jump from Dark Souls 3 to Elden Ring is an entirely different video game. The universes and concepts are similar, but in reality, it is just too different. So I think that is what should define the Game of Year award. What game has revolutionized gaming as a whole the most? And although we have two fantastic games, if we're answering the question I just asked you, it's Elden Ring 10 out of 10 times. I believe it's December 8th, December 9th that the Game Awards happen. Then we will truly know who deserves it. But I think that they already know their answer. Elden Ring, man. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think of Elden Ring and if you think it should win over God of War Ragnarok. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Without further ado, I'm Trello, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.